Young and Meg. It's crazy to say today, but at a time, she was one of the hottest rappers on the scene. But now, for better or for worse, the people have forgotten about her. Why is that? That's what I aim to explain today. Yo, it's Razor University. Welcome back to another video. If you wasn't listening to the intro, clean your ears, but we're talking about Young M.A., the ups, the downs, and what essentially made people sort of forget that she even existed. Rose Young M.A., born in Katsura, is a prominent rapper from Brooklyn, Her career New York, has been marked by both highs and lows, reflecting her talent, personal struggles, and the challenges working within the music industry. So let's start with her breakout, who everything seemed like it was magnificent at the time i'm sure young and may's career skyrocketed with the, release. the song became a viral hit amassing over 400 million views on youtube and reaching the top 20 on the billboard hot 100 list it also earned her widespread recognition and established her as a force in the hip-hop world it was praised for her lyricism authenticity and able to navigate the male-dominated rap industry. Young and May remained independent for much of her career, releasing music on her own terms, which has garnered respect in this industry. In 2019, she released her debut studio album, Her Story in the Making. It was well received by her fans and critics alike. The album addressed personal topics, including her struggle with depression and her brother's death, showcasing her depth as an artist. Young and May is one of the most visible, openly gay rappers in the entire industry. She's become an icon in the LGBTQ community, representing authenticity and challenging stereotypes in hip hop. Everything was amazing at that point in time. People looked at her as a force in hip hop, something refreshing. I know me personally, as refreshing, her lyricism was one of the greatest things about her skill as an artist. But like any career, it comes with lows as well. One of her biggest and main factors that I feel like contributed to well, kind of forgetting she existed was her challenges with consistency. Despite the success of Ooh, you may struggle to replicate the same level of mainstream success with subsequent single. Pressure to follow up a massive hit has been a challenge in her career. And you know, this is something that a lot of artists feel, you know, one hit wonders, you know, everybody's terrified of that term. Everybody wants to make the next track bigger than the last, but it's hard. And in this case, it was hard for Young and May. She also dealt with personal struggles. Young and May has been open about her battle with mental health, specifically depression. The loss of her brother in 2009 deeply affected her, and she has mentioned how these struggles have impacted her music and career at times. Young and May has also dealt with negative criticism. Like many artists, Young and May has faced criticism from the industry and her peers and fans to conform or evolve in a certain way. Her decision to stay independent and true to her own style has sometimes meant sacrificing certain commercial opportunities. Also in 2023, Young and May sparked concerns with her health. Her appearance in a video, which she seemed very unwell, has led to widespread speculation about her health, though she later addressed it, concerns and everything, attributing them to a personal and physical challenge she was facing at the time. Despite that, she seems to be well currently and, and on the trajectory, on the upward trajectory. You know, despite these up and downs, Young and May remains a respected and influential figure in hip hop, known for authenticity, resilience, and talent. I'm personally a huge fan of Young and May ever since I ever saw her, ever since I really started um, going, uh, diving deep into her music. I wanna say, the first person besides her hit single, I think the first person who showed me um, what she had, you know, talent wise to work with was my father. And I think I've, I've always respected her skill level ever since that day. I think she legitimately has talent and I side with talent. Anytime I try to predict any artist's projection, the talent will live on forever. Her skill will always be good. So I think that can help her get back into the mainstream if she wants to. Some people don't even want to do that, but if she wants to do that and she desires that, I think she can get it. Um, so let me know what you guys think. Can Young and May become relevant once again or not? Let me know in the comment section. If you're new, sub up, like the video. If you like the video, obviously. And um, I will see you in whatever I upload next. Peace. Turn, don't, don't talk like that, bro, on my live, man. Like I don't got people like that. You know what I'm saying? That coke shit? No, I don't do that. I don't do no, I don't pop no pills. I don't smoke, I don't sniff no coke, nothing, bro. The most I do, I drink and smoke some weed. Y'all niggas wildin' with that shit. That shit ain't even cute, for real. I need my supporters to understand that, bro. I don't rock with that. That popping perk, popping mollies, popping zans and shit like that. That shit ain't cute, bro. I don't do that.